piece, the bill-busting pensioner slashing his power costs by thousands of dollars a year. 74-year-old Lofty puts it down to a few simple tricks. I caught up with him to see how he does it. When this man's got a bright idea, there's only one way to spread the word. At a current affair, we receive thousands of letters in the mail. But this one in particular, typed on a typewriter, caught our attention. It's from a man named Lofty, a 74-year-old pensioner who was struggling to pay his power bill. But it seems Lofty has come up with a simple solution that saved him hundreds of dollars, and all in just one flick of a switch. G'day, Lofty. Hello. How are you? Demity. Thank you for your letter. Yes. We were uh, quite intrigued by your letter. Yeah. This is my humble home. The penny-pinching retiree might be living in darkness. But don't worry, there's method to his madness. That's right, he's just turned off all power to his Newcastle home. How does the saving work? Well, all the power that comes into the box, right, you don't have to pay for. It's only going from the box into the house that you have to pay for. And that's what you cut off? That's what I cut off when I turn all them switches off. Every day, Lofty turns off his electricity at 8am. But don't think his days in the dark are boring. Turn the radio on. Runs on batteries. Oh. So you deliberately run it off batteries? Yeah. We're only $1.25 each. And boy, doesn't Lofty know how to make them last. So this is what I do to um, save batteries, right? I'll put them in a plastic bag. So these are used batteries from your radio? Yeah. Okay. So what I do is I'll put them in the plastic bag, but only uh, two at a time, and put it in the freezer. What does that do? Well, it recharges them, but you've got to leave them in there for seven days for it to do it. What else have you got in your little bag of tricks? Boil the jug if you want to before then and put it in a thermos. You want to have a look at me thermos? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's got two cups, one on the bottom. And you get three cups out of it. Before you turn your power off? Yeah, I fill that up, boil the jug and fill this up. And that gets you through to lunchtime? Yeah. Time for lunch. At 11.30, lights, Stove, water, it's all systems go, but only for 25 minutes. By 11.55, Lofty turns the electricity off again. And back on again at 5pm for the night. It's been three months since he started his self-imposed blackouts, and it's paying off. Wow, you beauty, look at that. How much were you paying for electricity? Um, $678, and this bill was $152.72. Simply by turning off yeah. the power? And now I'm in saving the fi uh, credit of $522. Like most pensioners, Lofty is doing it tough. How would you describe it? Bloody terrible. Well, that's what it is. I mean, it's, it's hard enough, enough living as it is but with, with the cost of everything going up through the roof. I mean, you've only got to go shopping and most of the shelves are bare. I can only drive my car once a fortnight because the petrol's too dear. Pretty I, grim. Yeah, and I love driving my ute around. I think it's a little bit bizarre, to be honest, you know, going out to the meter box every day and, and turning everything off. Uh, yeah, it's a bit strange. Yeah, I'd be worried about the fridge going off every day and, you know, things not staying cool in there. Electrician Alex Merker urges everyone to always remain cautious when handling electricity. Turning a circuit breaker or a safety switch on or off is safe, um, but it can get a little bit confusing because there's quite a lot going on in the meter box. Lofty is not only saving his own money, he's reducing his power consumption when we're being told there's potentially not enough to go round. How long do you think you'll do this for? The rest of my life. Forever? Yeah, well, that's life when you live on a pension. 